This is Nick with LogosByNick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create this circular banner logo with text going around it. And if you'd like to learn more about how Inkscape works, be sure to check out the Inkscape Masterclass, which is a collection of over 50 videos where I go over every single tool and feature in Inkscape and I explain what it is and demonstrate how it works. So let's go ahead and get started here in Inkscape. The first thing we want to do is set up our canvas so that we are all working with a similar view. I'm going to go to View and I'll make sure I have custom selected and then I'll go up here to zoom make sure we're zoom it, zoomed in at one to one and then I'll open up the align and distribute menu with this button up here and I will I want to make sure I have last selected chosen from that drop down and then I'll open up the edit objects uh, colors gradients and stroke menu with that button right there and now we're good to get started so uh, what I want to create first is a circle so I'm gonna grab the circles and ellipses tool over here now I'm going to hold Control and Shift on the keyboard and click and drag on the canvas so we get a nice big perfectly round circle like that. And I want to make this a very light shade of gray like that. Now I'm going to grab the Select tool. I'm going to right click this and go to Duplicate. And I'm going to give this a black outline otherwise known as a stroke. So I'm going to hold Shift on the keyboard and click on the color black right here. And then I want to turn off the fill color, so I'm just going to come over here and click on the X, the red X right there to get rid of that fill color. And over here in the Stroke Style tab, you'll have these three different tabs. So I'm going to, go, I'm going to come over here to the Stroke Style tab. Uh, I want to choose Pixels, and I want to make this 75 pixels. Hit Enter like that. And I want to take the opacity of this and bring this down in half like that. And then I'm going to hold Control and Shift, and I'm going to scale this down so that it's smaller slightly smaller than the circle behind it. But before I do that, I should back up a little bit. Up here in the toolbar, uh, you're gonna see when scaling objects, scale the stroke width by the same proportion. Make sure you have that turned off as you see here on my screen before you go ahead and scale that down. So once you're certain that that's turned off, I'm gonna hold Control and Shift, and now I'll scale that down. We just want that to be a little bit smaller than the circle behind it. And now I'm gonna duplicate that by right-clicking it and going to Duplicate, and I'm gonna make this one red by holding shift and clicking on the color red. And I want to make this one slightly smaller than the ring beneath it. So I'm going to hold control and shift, scale it down like that. And I'd say right about there is what we're looking for. So we have these two different rings here that are slightly different in size. Now what I want to do is come over here to the uh, stars, the create stars and polygons tool. Up here from this toolbar, we want to have regular polygons selected. Corners, 6, rounded, 0, randomized, 0. Once you have those settings in place, just go ahead and hold Control and Shift and click and drag on the canvas to create a polygon like this, where the corners are going up and down vertically as opposed to sitting flat like that. So make sure you create it like this. And I'm going to fill this in by with green by clicking on the color green. And I want to get rid of that outline by holding Shift and clicking on the color. I mean, clicking on the red X. Again, make sure you're holding shift while you click on that red X right there. So I'm going to grab the select tool. I'll bring this over here. I'm going to hold control and shift and scale this up a little bit like that. I'm going to place this right about there. I want to center this up on the circle. So I'm going to hold shift and click on the circle. And I'm going to click on this button right here that says center on the vertical axis. Let me click off of that, deselect everything. Now I want to take just this polygon right here. I want to make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to hold Control and Shift and scale this up. The intersecting area between the polygon and the ring is going to make up the length of the uh, banner that we're creating. So that's what I'm looking at here when I uh, place this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to right click that polygon and go to Duplicate. I'll make that blue and I'm going to hold Control and Shift and I'll scale that one down a little bit as well, maybe about that much. And then I want to do that one more time. I want to take this green polygon that we originally started with, right-click that, go to Duplicate, hold Control and Shift and scale that down uh, so it's slightly, slightly smaller than the blue polygon behind it. And then that right there, I'd say, is good. So let me click off of the canvas to deselect everything. I want to select this red ring right here, and I want to go to Path, Stroke to Path. And I want to do the same thing with the black ring behind it. I want to click on the black ring behind it, select that, and go to Path, Stroke to Path, and then click off of that to deselect everything. And now what I want to do is I want to take this large green polygon right here, and I'm going to hold Shift and click on the large black ring at the back there, and go to Path, Intersection. 
And now what I'll do is I will hold shift with this still selected. I'll hold shift, click on the green polygon there and go to path difference. And then I'll click on the blue polygon right there. Hold shift, click on the red ring and go to path intersection. And there we have the beginning of our um, banner there. So what I want to do now is I want to come up here to where it says enable snapping. I want to turn that on, assuming you don't already have it turned on. And the settings I want chosen over here are this first one that says snap nodes, and then over here where it says snap cusp nodes, and then over here where it says snap smooth nodes. That's the settings we want to have set there. And what I want to do now is click on this black set of shapes right here. And I want to go to the Edit Paths by Nodes tool. And let me zoom in on this so I can see it better. To zoom in, I'm going to hold Control and roll up the mouse wheel a few times. And to move the page over, I'm just going to press down the mouse wheel and move the mouse. And I want to click and drag over this node right here to select that. And then I want to hold Shift and click, click and drag over this node over here to select that as well. And I want to insert a new node between those two. I'll come over here where it says Insert New Nodes into Selected Segments. Click on that and you will see a new node there. So let me click on just that one node so it deselects the other two. And then I'll just take this and click and drag it down a little bit like that so it gives it kind of like a uh, like a fishtail kind of ending. Sort of like what you would see on a ribbon or a banner like that. And I'd say right there is pretty good. And I want to do the same thing over here but I want this one to be symmetrical with this one here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to actually duplicate it and replace it. So let me zoom out a little bit. I'm going to grab this select tool. I'll go to path. Uh, yeah, path, break apart, click off of it to deselect everything, take this object right here, right click that, go to duplicate, and then come up here where it says flip selected objects horizontally, click on that, and then just click and drag this over here until the corners snap together like that. And then we can take the original shape and then just press delete on the keyboard to get rid of that. And now I want to take this red object up here and raise this to the top by clicking the button that says raise select uh, raise selection to the top and now let me zoom out a little bit so we can see what we're working with here what I want to do now actually is add some shapes in here to make for the uh, kind of like shadows you'll see what I mean let me grab the uh, bezier pen which is right here you could press B on the keyboard to grab that I'm gonna snap to this corner click snap to this corner over here and click snap to this corner over here and click and then back to the starting point like that and let me just fill that in with green for now and I want to get rid of that black outline by holding shift and clicking on the X right there and I'm gonna do the same thing over here I'm gonna to snap to this corner and click snap to this corner up here and then I'm gonna come out here outside of the black shape right there like that whoops didn't mean to do that right out here right about here click out there and then back to the starting point like that and I want to make that green as well so let me hold shift and click on uh, the X right there to get rid of that outline and now what I want to do is I'm gonna grab this select tool I'm gonna to take this black shape right here right click that go to duplicate hold shift and click on the green object there and go to path intersection and now I want to hold shift and select the other green shape so we have both of them selected I'll right click that go to duplicate bring this over here and I want to flip these horizontally with that button that says flip selected objects horizontally click on that and then just come down here and snap these under this corner as well so that it matches the other side like that and now I'm going to take this red object and again raise it to the top raise selection to the top so that it's above everything like that and now let me zoom out a little bit I'm going to click and drag over all of all of this objects right here so we have them all selected and I'm going to bring the opacity all the way up like that let me click off of that to deselect everything. You can now make this ribbon any color you want. I'm going to stick with red. I have this red right here. I'm just going to make these bits right here red to match that. And whatever color your ribbon is, you want to make these areas the same color but slightly darker. So let me click on that green. Let me click on that green shape right there. I'm going to make that red as well. But I'm going to come over here to the fill tab and under the HSL tab, I'm going to make that a little darker like that. Same thing over here. I want to do the same thing. I'm actually going to just pick the same color. I'm going to come over here to the uh, color picker, which is down here, or you could press uh, D on the keyboard. Just like that. Let me go back to the select tool and do the same thing over here. Grab the color picker, make that the same color. Grab that piece, 
use the color picker to make that the same color like that. And let me press one on the keyboard to zoom back out to 100%. So as you can see, we have our banner in place. We just now have to wrap some text around the inside edge of that. So to do that, I'm going to click on this large circle we have in the background. This is our reference circle. I'm going to right click that and go to duplicate. I'm going to make this green and I'm going to bring the opacity down roughly in half like that. And then I'll hold control and shift on the keyboard and click and drag to scale this down about that much so that it's slightly smaller than the inner edge of this red banner right here. And now I'm going to create some text. So let me grab the uh, text tool, click on the canvas to get our blinking cursor and I'm just going to write sample text. And I want to change the font of that. I'm going to click on the text editor up here. And the font I am going to use is, you can use any font you'd like for this tutorial. I'm using uh, League Gothic. There it is. Close out of that. There's our font. Uh, the size of this font, I'm going to use 40. There we go. And I'm just going to duplicate this because we're going to do this again for the top portion of the design. I'm going to right click this and go to duplicate. Bring this over here. Then hold shift and click on the green circle. With, the, with both of those objects selected, the text and the circle, I'll go to text, put on path, like that. And then I want to click off of the graphic, deselect everything, take just the green circle right here. And if you notice here, the text is going around the outside edge of the circle. I want the opposite of that. I want it going around the inside edge. So to reverse that, I'm just going to flip the circle either horizontally or vertically. I'm just going to flip it horizontally like that. And there you go. Now the text is on the inside edge there. And if I want to rotate the text so that it matches up with the banner, you don't rotate the actual text item. You rotate the circle that it's placed on. So I'm just going to click on the circle again so that we get the rotation handles. I'm just going to rotate it around like that. I'm going to click on the text itself and make it white. I'm going to grab the text tool, click on the text right there, and I just want to add some spacing between those letters. So uh, up here where it says uh, spacing between letters, I'm going to make that um, let's try four. That's pretty good. Let me go back to the select tool. Uh, I want to click on this green circle right here and lower it beneath the banner so that it's not interfering with uh, my view of the banner and the text here. So I'm going to come up here to where it says lower object, uh, lower selection one step. I'll click on that, click on it again, and again, and again, and just go ahead and keep clicking on it until it's completely beneath the banner like that. Now if you notice we have more space at the top here than at the bottom, so I'm going to adjust the size of the circle to accommodate that. I'm going to hold Control and Shift and I'm going to scale down the size of that circle so that it fits the text better like that. And I'll click on the circle again to get the rotation handles, rotate this around like that. And right about there is what I'm looking for. And once you get your text set up in a way that you like it like this, what you could do is click on the text object and go to Path object path and it'll finalize it right there. Now it's important to do that because if you go ahead and remove this circle afterwards the text is going to follow the circle there if you don't do the path object to path first. So everything that you do to the circle will also happen to the text if you don't do that because they're both linked together. So let me put that circle back there. Now we have to create the top portion of the banner going around the top and to do that it's pretty simple. We're just going to duplicate everything we see here on the screen. So let me click and drag over all of this right here right click that, go to duplicate, and then I'll flip it vertically like that where it says flip selected objects vertically. There you go. Click off of the canvas. Click off of uh, the graphic to deselect everything. I want to get rid of this text. We don't need that. I want to take this green circle, get rid of that. Take this gray circle and get rid of that so that we're left with the original objects right there. And now I'm going to take our text right here, our original copy. I'm going to raise that to the top by clicking on raise selection to the top and then hold shift, click on the green circle and go to text, put on path. And as you see here, if you click off of the graphic and click on just the circle and then click on it again so we get the rotation handles, we can rotate this text around. But again, we want this text going on the outside of the circle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the circle vertically or horizontally where it says flip selected objects horizontally. And there you go. Now the text is on the outside edge of the circle, but we have to scale it down so that it fits in there. So let me click on the circle again to get the scaling handles. Hold Control and Shift and scale this down like that. Right about there. Get back to the rotation handles by clicking on the object again like that. Rotate that around. Click on that text. Make it white to match the bottom. 
And let me just make sure everything looks good here. I may have to scale that down a little more. And there we go. What we can do is you can click on that text and go to path, object to path, click off of the graphic to deselect everything. Now we can go ahead and delete these reference circles and we are left with our uh, banner, our, our two banners in here. And you can go ahead and add whatever you'd like in the center here, any kind of icon or any kind of uh, graphic that you want in the center there. So that is how you can go about creating this uh, circular banner sort of logo with Inkscape. I'm gonna put a link in the description of the video to a Inkscape template of this design right here where you can just simply open it up and edit the text yourself. You grab the text tool and go ahead and click on the text to edit it yourself in case you don't wanna follow along and recreate this design yourself. I'll have a link to that, a free download of the template in the, uh, the uh, description of the video. So that's how you can go about creating that with Inkscape. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.